the sound on the AK is actually not bad. The only sound I don't, I generally do not like. Listen to this, right? This is what's really bad about like the rush guns. It's like, oh, this has actually happened before in video games. Um, the original Counter Strike Go AK and the original Counter Strike Go sounds sounded like real guns. And when they changed, it sounded like toy guns and it didn't sound real. But when you shot the AK in CSGO originally, it would hurt your fucking ears. Like, it's, it's loud and ugly. There's one sound that's actually fucking terrible. The custom sounds more powerful than the M2. The custom sounds omega, omega powerful. But the other ones are, uh, they, they're growing on me. They're, they're not the best. I think there's improvements to be made. But they actually sound pretty good. Eventually, you get used to them. Because they're a lot more pleasant on the ears. LR sounds fine. Tommy sounds a little muffled. Tommy could be changed in a way where it sounds a little less muffled. I would believe you if you told me the sound is a silence, Tommy. It's not. It's a good sound. They just got to remove the muffle. That's it. The MP5. MP5 sound is what the custom should be. The new sap is okay too. I actually like the new sap sound. Basically, shooting the gun has a set angle of motion for your crosshair with every X bullets, which is a variance or random or just a space between one to four or one through five or two through five, that those bullets can create a deviance in another set angle for Y amounts of bullets. The set angle on the AK would be that the crosshair moves upright with a deviance of two to four bullets that seems to change the angle to either left or straight vertical where it lasts for two to three bullets, right? So to explain it visually, because I don't no one of my viewers has the IQ to understand what that means, the gun moves up to the right. Every time it moves up to the right. Okay. Every few amounts of bullets is a deviance. So right there, the deviance was two bullets in a straight vertical line. I shoot again. No straight vertical line deviance there, right? We go again. Right there was this vertical deviance instead of upright. That was actually zero deviance in all of those 12 bullets I shot, right? Um, but it moved in a, in a set angle and it has deviances for straight vertical or more left. So that's why the spray varies. They're not different patterns. Like I suggested or wanted was set patterns in random orders. This is more of a set angle with bullet deviance, right? Now all this on top of more aim cone from before. But it's a good change because now you're not shooting at this range anymore and tripling people. And at that range, the deviance actually matters. Where in a more combative range like this, Deviance is more than controllable, but that's how the system works. So each gun has their pattern and the pattern being more of an angle. Is it easier to control? It's definitely got a higher skill floor to the point where shooting gun isn't the challenge. Mastering it is and positioning yourself for it is. And they built it in the way as well where rifles standing up are crazy. Look at the difference in standing up and crouching. The Tommy does not have the same problem. Neither does the MP5, nor the custom. The LR also works the same. Which means that SMGs are actually balanced to be used in a more mobile way, and rifles are again used to be in a more stationary way because they're more powerful weapons. They have different viabilities on range, right? Because of this, and because of their aim cone. There's also a new attachment with the extended magazine, and there's also a new weapon with the HMLMG, which I'm not sure how you get or anything yet. This thing is crazy, though. Um, the star has also been adjusted. And the star is actually really fucking good now. Star sounds are really nice. Still got some heavy bullet spread, but especially with an attached mag, you bring that shit up to uh, 20. But the spread ain't that bad. It's a lot better than the Tommy. Tommy Hollow Reign Supreme, Sara actually is better. 
And as you see, this is uh, 75 meters. The way it works with that deviance means you can still control it. But even if you get really good at it because of the lack of visual cues on like Valorant, right? Means that that deviance is going to be unpredictable to some degree where it'll actually affect even really, really good players. And I think that just about every weapon works the same way where X is different and Y is different in different amounts. I think it's more of a range or maybe more of a gradient in a way based on the weapon or weapon type. AK, I think on that deviance, it seems to be out of 30, it seems to be just about 15 to 20%. And how long the deviance lasts seems to be just a hop or two. I think the, the just a hop or two. So 15, 20% on the deviance means that it lasts for just a bullet or two when it starts up. Is it just pulls straight down? No. Uh, the SAR is more vertical, though, than anything. As you can see, the SAR is pretty much pulled down. But at ranges, the deviance still matters to the point where you have to control it and adjust for it. AK's pulled down left is the set angle. But the deviance is much larger on the jump. Believe it or not, here's the thing that a lot of the people that are crying about um, recoil have not played other games that require skill to the degree where they can't practice something that's step by step, right? And... A great example of this is Fortnite. Um, Fortnite building is learned in a very black and white way. It's learned in a very do this, then do that way, right? Literally, this game handheld you to the point where learning recall was the time commitment to the point where every single shot would direct you as to where the next step would be. Anyone could put time into learning this to build muscle control and muscle memory. Now it's a system that actually rewards you for more things than just sitting still and spraying. Positioning, movement, you know, understanding your teammates, how you're playing solo, using your attachments in a way to actually promote a place that you enjoy. Let me open paint for this because it, it's a lot better. So the angles won't be correct and the deviance numbers won't be correct. But if you shoot the AK, this is just about the angle that the AK will be moving in, right? If you look at this. Right? Now, obviously, it's not a set line, okay? Uh, they're individual dots for every single bullet you shoot. The line is just the average of the degree you would be moving in. Now, every set amount of bullets, it's not a set number, it's more of a range. There's a chance that, that the next shot will deviate from that line. So when you're shooting your gun, it travels in this line. On average, it will travel from the same start position to the same end position, right? And when you shoot, you'll randomly get the chance where, let's say, you have a perfect set of bullets that travel like this. You'll get a, a deviant bullet that can last for one to three bullets that go off of this line, right? So you shoot one, you shoot two, you shoot three. Then you have a bullet that goes kind of straight vertical and goes back to the right, which means that it's kind of correcting yourself along this line. So ultimately it will travel in this line, but bullets will travel differently. So you'll have bullets that travel more right and then go more vertical and then travel more right again, which means that it still travel in the same angle. So you can see when I shoot, right here was the vertical bullet. Now it was over here. Now it was here and here, almost immediately after each other with one bullet's, like, pause, right? What the fuck? Now every noob can beam? Bro, every noob could beam before. There was nothing skillful or there was no talent needed to got, hop in a fucking you can server and spend time learning a pattern that the game handheld you to learn. Now you actually have to position yourself not on top of a cliff or a rooftop to shoot just because you can move your hand in a certain pattern. There's, if you talk to any player that's actually good at a game that's competitive, that needs more than one skill set, no one's going to be impressed by the fact that you can, you can play this. This is actually better for the game in general and better to explain and express different styles of skill in the game because it has more than one type of skill. Scripters are mad. People that spent thousands of hours and you can are mad. Like hours played gatekeepers, literally who gives a shit. You guys are noobs anyway. No respect to beamers that can shoot from 400 meters just because you spent hours of hours and hours of doing it. It's better for the game. I have never respected anyone for being good at spraying a gun. Literally, who gives a shit? If I hopped into a fucking server and I shoot a bullet four times in a row and it tells me your next bullet will still go here, your next bullet will still go here, your next bullet will still go here, there was nothing skillful. Like, there was no fun in learning that. It was just a time thing, right? 
this makes the game more accessible to the point where it's better for the health of the game. It's actually more fun to play. I can guarantee you that you won't be able to sit on a rooftop and spray your AK to get triple headshots to shadow play for a five second Twitter clip to cut out all context of a situation. You open any rust montage of any main player. You have a seven second clip of someone just shooting the gun. It starts mid spray and ends before the spray is even over with three headshot sounds in a row where you could have just edited it. Who fucking knows, man? Now, a system like this guarantees certain sense of performance will always be based on randomness, right? Aim cone is tighter. Or, sorry, um, not as tight. I think they just nerf hollow in general. You can't stand up and spray the AKs easily anymore, which means that you actually have to commit to playing certain weapon styles in certain different ways, where SMDs are much more manageable compared to AKs, which are actually really difficult to shoot when standing up. Because look at the deviance of the jumps. Look at the deviance of the jumps or crouch. They're vertical and very controllable, and they'll make me miss a few shots, but nothing you can't adjust to, right? But then you have the deviance of standing up. You can see my crouches are jumping left and right. It's, it's difficult. You can still learn how to do it. You can still learn to control it to some degree, but you're still promoted to play in a certain way that actually fits the play style of the weapon type you're using. You can also adjust it, actually. Like, if you use shit like this, if you're more of a mobile AK player... Like, they're actually pretty good. Like, the you have more slots for attachments. I guarantee they're going to add more attachments as well, you know? I have a theory. They mixed up the AK and the custom sound. You think so? The, 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 the custom sounds more like an AK than the AK does, in my opinion. You know, I think the MP5 sounds like what the custom should sound like, personally. Put the sound on the M92. I like that sound. Oh, my God. Yo, that sounds sick. That actually sounds wicked. Does this stop scripting because of the randomness? Scripting won't be as good anymore. You'll still be able to script where you don't have to move your mouse and it'll reset for the angle. As I said, the angle will be accounted for. But the bullet deviance will, unless you're actually hooked into the game, which means if you have a script that's hooked into the game, it can still do it. But being hooked into the game means you can easier, way easier be caught by anti-cheats and you can't just, I can't just macro the script on my mouse in the mouse memory. How is the MT49? The MT49 is just way better than it was. Like it's super OP, which I think this needs a nerf. I'm, I'm standing, by the way. So I'm playing on low sense. I am moving my mouse this much to control this, these bullets. I moved it this much. I moved my mouse this much on uh, 450 DPI, 1 1.8 multi multiplicative sensitivity on crouch. M2 just needs to be nerfed. It's just, or maybe the nerf drop rates or something. I don't know. Maybe there's damage fall off. I, I don't know. But just recall wise, it is pretty broken. Didn't Silencer get nerfed this patch too? Or was that not on staging? It's supposed to be, but it's not like, it's not nerf on like the player side. It's nerf on the guy getting, getting shot. So like they can see where it's getting, you're getting shot from, I think. So there should be like a directional indicator when you get hit. Apparently the sound of getting hit is crazy. I haven't heard it yet.